school band, along with chaperones and teachers, are back home after making a historic trip. They arrived at home about 4:30 this morning from Washington D.C., where the band marched in the inaugural parade after President Donald Trump took oath of office. WCBI's Ali Martin was there and has a report with some unique behind-the-scenes footage. <laughs> It was the moment 168 Tupelo High School band, color guard members, and cheerleaders had anticipated. Passing directly in front of the reviewing stand were President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence were watching the inaugural parade. You just marched in the inaugural parade down Pennsylvania Avenue in front of the president. What was that like? It was amazing. I could, the light was so bright, but it was it was so much fun. Uh, I will, whenever I started our, my routine that I made, I looked to my left and I saw him looking at me in the front, and I just turned around and I just kept doing my routine. Um, I, it was awesome. I mean, when we walked past Trump, I I didn't even play my horn because I was so astonished that like he was right there and his beautiful daughter was right there and his fine wife was right there, and I was just like. I, I couldn't even play, but I mean, it was fun. Uh, I'm glad it was a good experience, and you know what I'm saying? I can't wait to come back. It was fun. A very proud moment, and a moment that I will never forget, and I know neither of my girls will ever forget. THS band members also were able to meet with Senator Roger Wicker, who, after some coaxing, did the dab. Tupelo High School was the only band in the state invited to take part in the historic occasion. Band director Rick Murphy says the students made the Magnolia State proud. The parade experience was great. Uh, the reception we got all along Pennsylvania Avenue was really remarkable. Again, I keep using that word, but this whole trip has been remarkable. From the beginning, when the people stepped up and paid the money, the students were ready. We had to wait a long time for the parade to start, but once it started it was just a lot of fun and it was just great ovation and being right in front of the White House, the band played great. This tour wrapped up with a trip to Arlington National Cemetery. It was an opportunity for the band members and chaperones to see that a presidential election and the ability to march in an inaugural parade comes at a high price. On the road with the Tupelo High School Band, Ali Martin, WCBI News. And band director Rick Murphy says that the band would also like to try and march in either the Rose Bowl Parade or Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in the future.